What's up, everybody? I'm Katherine Ellis, and welcome to Chicks University. Chicks University, Kat? What's that? Do you mean you graduated college a semester early just to start a show about college? Exactly, Diane. I'm doing exactly that. You got into Harvard Law? What, like it's hard? Not everyone wants to go to Yale because not everyone wants to be Blair Waldorf. She doesn't even go here! I'm not looking for a man. Ah, I'm ready to party! Oh. Let me bring you back to high school Kitty. She was... You know, the social high schooler, she didn't really care about her academics as much as she cared about her social life, and it reflected in her grades. So when the time came for little old Kitty to decide where she wanted to go to college, she basically had very limited options and only looked at schools that seemed like they would be fun socially to go to. And... When I was looking around for colleges, I was Googling everything I could do. I was getting asked all those typical questions by my guidance counselor. Do you want to go to a small school or a big school? Do you want to go to city or a campus life school? And I had no idea what I wanted to do. And Googling everything, trying to find pictures of it, videos of it, articles about schools was so limited. And I want to change that. I still... After four years from the time that I was looking at it, I still feel like there isn't a good enough show or medium out there right now that covers the things you want to know about the schools you're looking to go to college at, and I'm going to change that with this show. So Chicks University is your inside look at what college is really like for girls. It's all the stuff you really want to know about school, like what housing is like after freshman year, where you're actually going to eat, because some schools you straight up can't eat at the dining halls, where you and your friends will go get coffee, how to meet your friends, how to meet roommates, what you need to do to have a social life. Um, also, if your school is a school that the culture is surrounded by sports, what game day is like. Do you actually go to the game? Do you just tailgate? Um, what do you wear? I mean, schools, what they wear to classes is completely different. You have people who go to Boston University who dress like they are going to a fashion show to their class. And then you have Southern schools where girls wear big t-shirts and shorts and sneakers with full hair and makeup. It's so different at every single school. And I think it's really important for people who are looking to go to schools, whether it's they're graduating high school or they're looking to transfer or they just want to see what their friend's school is like. I think there needs to be an outlet where you can just look it up and find all this information about another school. And that's exactly what this show is going to be. What I thought was so weird was that when I was touring schools, about junior senior year of high school everybody was telling me once you find that school that you're gonna end up at it will feel like home and I applied to I think 12 different schools I think I toured about 10 different schools and none of them were feeling like that to me and I was absolutely panicking because I'm like none of these feel like home none of these feel like home and all of these schools that I went to I was getting tours from the school's affiliated tour guide and they were showing me things that I didn't care about the school at all. I literally think I've been to the library like three times in my life. But honestly, the one school that I went to that I was like, wow, this does feel like home. And I actually ended up going to my freshman year was the one school that I had a friend at who gave me her own version of a tour. So I got to see where her and her friends actually hang out. She told me about how she met her friends. They showed me where they go out on the weekends. They showed me what it was like to go to a fraternity party. She brought me to her favorite restaurant at the school. And that's what made that school feel like home. So I'm making it my priority to do that for other girls. I want to go to schools 
get the tour from friends of mine from in person from internet friends just connections that I have of girls that I think really represent the majority of the culture there I'm going to go to these schools and find out what it's really like in addition I'm going to be doing this show frequently and I'm going to bring in so many different guests from my own friends from college to members of Greek life to a couple guy friends because we always need some guy advice in our lives because up until high school your life is pretty much laid out for you entirely and then all of a sudden it's like hey what do you want to do with your life the next four years and almost everybody is like I don't know I had absolutely no idea so I'm hoping that this show will help out Anybody looking to go to school, it will get people to show off how great their school is, brag about it to their friends, and yeah, that's what Chicks University is going to be all about. Your inside scoop to what it's really like to go to that college, whichever one it may be that day. So a little bit of background about me. I am Katherine Ellis, born and raised in the suburbs of Massachusetts. And growing up, I never really cared about academics. I remember my mom would always say to me, Catherine, you need to try harder in school so your options aren't limited by the time you want to go to college. And I never really knew what she meant. But now I do, looking back on it, that she meant if there was a school I really wanted to go to, she didn't want me to not get in because I didn't try in classes. And I didn't realize it at the time. So I remember so clearly one day my senior year we had an assembly where representatives of boston college boston university and brown come to my school and talk to my senior class about their expectations for how to get into that school what the gpa requirement was what your test scores were how many extracurriculars you had to do and about 15 minutes into the assembly, I left to go play with my school's therapeutic dog because I knew that assembly was a waste of my time. There was no way me and my 2.96 high school GPA were ever going to get into any of those schools. So I did what pretty much anybody who loves a social scene and doesn't really have a great GPA or test scores did and I went to a fun party school in the south and that was great I had so much fun I went to the University of Alabama for one year and then I had a pretty life-altering experience while I was there that I'll, I'll get more in depth into later on in this show series but basically my dad got diagnosed with colon cancer while I was at Alabama and it completely changed my perspective on life. I realized how important it was to find something that you love and dive into it because who knows how long life is going to be. And it completely changed my work ethic as a person. That semester that my dad was diagnosed with cancer, I got my first ever 4.0 GPA and I was on president's list for my entire freshman year. I never would have done that in high school. I'm pretty sure if you ask one of my teachers, they would be absolutely shocked that I'm even saying that. But I did, and I worked my butt off. I got an internship at Alabama and really just focused on academics so that I could transfer into a good school in Boston because the schools in, majority of the schools in Boston are so hard to get into, and I wasn't getting into any of them with the GPA that I had coming out of high school. So I got a 4.0 GPA, and actually transferred to Boston University my sophomore year. And let me tell you, Boston University and the University of Alabama could not be more polar opposite schools. Yeah, I loved both of them so much. And I'm so glad that I had the experiences I had at both of these schools because it made me realize how badly this show needed to be created. Because if you think you're not going to like a school, you might actually end up loving it. You know, Alabama on paper was my dream school. It was everything I wanted at one point in my life. And once I had a shift in perspective on things, I went to a polar opposite school and had the absolute time of my life. So basically, 
with that information, I hope you realize you can actually do anything you want to do because I walked out of an assembly telling me how to get into Boston University my senior year of high school and my sophomore year of college. I was fully a student there, thriving, living my best life, truly. (laughs) Something else that definitely needs to be addressed is how different college life is now than it may have been in the past, especially with the pandemic going on. It affects what going to school is like so much. My first year at Boston University versus this year, my senior year, are so different. It's a completely different experience. And I think it's important to find out which schools are severely affected by the pandemic, how much it changes your learning experience in the classroom, outside of the classroom. It happens. And some schools are pretty much the exact same. They're still having a bunch of in-person classes. And some schools, my school has students who are in other countries while they're full-time students right now. So it's crazy. And, you know, there's no way to really find out what schools are doing until you actually go through it. So I'm going to try to help with that. So if you're going to college soon, if you're in college right now, if you just graduated and don't really know how to handle life, it's been really weird in this pandemic, this post-college world, I truly believe I'm going to help you in one way or another with this show because I'm going to go and cover every single topic related to college life, what you actually need to know about going to schools there because nobody else does. Nobody hands you this college survival guide to say, hey, you should know this. And now that I've been through college and learned so many different things that I wish I could tell my freshman year self, I'm going to give to you. Consider this Kitty's Declassified College Survival Guide for the girls. The show is something I've thought about for a long time and been working on for a long time and I'm so excited to finally get it started and start helping out people with finding out what college is really like finding out where they should go and yeah I'm just so excited to start this journey and I'm head over heels ready for it so anybody out there that wants to help out with it if you want to be my tour guide at your school you want to come on as a guest you have any questions things you want to know about college let me know comment them and yeah this show isn't going to just be a podcast available on spotify apple music wherever you listen to your podcast it's also going to be a visual version because i want it to be a show i want you to see the people that come into it and i plan on doing aspects of the show like a tour going to all these colleges and things that you need to see to understand so you'll be able to pick whether you want to listen to it view it whatever's best for you whatever you prefer I'll make sure I make it work for you so with all that being said I'm Catherine Ellis this is Chicks University I can't wait to get started make sure you like and subscribe and let me know what you want to see on this show because I have absolutely no limitations in mind and I'm so excited to help out you guys in any way possible so thank you so much I'll see you next time bye